You know, there are so many of us, I believe, who say we believe that God is good. But he is good for other people's situations, right? How many of us have had a conversation with our friends who are going through things and we say, in my language, we say, Mudimote, meaning God is there. God exists. God is in the situation with you. So we say with confidence and conviction to our friends that God is there. God will see you through, right? But how many of us who normally say such things to our friends remember the same kind of conversations when we ourselves are going through things? You know, we are so ready to trust God, to believe in God for other people's situations. But when we, it comes to our own situations, you know what? There are trust issues between us and God. God just Stay over there, I will handle my business, we say, right? <laughs> because we don't believe that the things that we really say to our friends will apply to us. The God who is there for your friend is the God who can be here for you when you need the help that he can offer. So today I want to talk to you about trust God for peace sake. I am Willemans, your inner voice, magnified. So today I want to talk to you about the three things or the three reasons why we should trust God with our lives, our careers, and everything that has to do with who we are, right? So the first reason is that whatever that God tells us to do or requires of us, is for our own good, is to nourish the spirit. You know, I believe that we are spirit beings, right? More than anything, when we're talking about Bula Mons, we are actually talking about the spirit that lives in this flesh. Because this flesh, without the spirit, just collapses. It can do nothing. It can say nothing when the spirit is not in it. But we get so bombarded with trying to feed this flesh, with trying to provide for this flesh, with trying to make it comfortable that we forget ultimately that actually the real person who we should be taking care of is the spirit man, the person who is inside. And the more we detach ourselves from God, the more trust issues we have between us and God, the more we get separated from the spirit man and the more we find ourselves achieving a lot of things on this earth but not being able to enjoy it. That's how we end up, you know, getting all sorts of dreams that we are chasing after and yet when somebody next to you gets a little bit of what you have you start having problems with it you start you know being in competition with people around you your soul is never at rest because we are busy focusing on the wrong Thing. We are busy focusing on feeding the flesh, but the flesh can never be happy when the soul is not happy. So whatever God tells us to do is to nourish the spirit. That's why we need to keep in touch with God. That's why we need to keep that trust between us and God. Because when he tells you to forgive, if you don't have that trust relationship with him, you will feel like um, God is taking sides. You know, he favors the other person who actually hurt you. But when God tells you to, 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 to forgive, it's actually to, so that your own spirit can be settled. Your own soul can be nourished. When God says things like, we need to be kind to others, we need to show love and be patient, it's because those are the kind of seeds that we walk around planting. And the more seeds of love, patience, and kindness, kindness we plant, the more we start reaping such, the more people around us start, start showing 
us mercy, start showing us patience, and start showing us favor because those are the seeds that God would ask us to plant, right? So whatever God says we must do is for our own good, and it especially feeds the soul it especially feeds the spirit when your spirit is well fed that's where you find a person who has almost nothing when it comes to material things but this person is joyful they you know they're like a sweet aroma every time you come near this person you wish to just give away whatever that you have because you want the kind of life that they have a, a life you think without material things maybe that's a beautiful life but you don't understand that it's because this person's spirit is filled so in order for you to enjoy the material things that you are busy gathering up we need to sharpen our uh, trust relationship with god right the second reason why we should be trusting god is that he knows the end from the beginning i mean he created us I mean, if you believe in God, you know he created you, right? From your mother's womb, he knitted you. He made sure that you were perfect for the purpose that he has for your life. But you see, the flesh and this world gets us concentrating on them rather than on the spirit that we forget that we are here for a purpose. And God knows that purpose, you know, he allows us to go, um, to take some off ramps along the way and do whatever it is that we want to do. But it's just to show us that if he could give you such blessings as the kind of blessings that you currently have right now, there are more that he wants to give you. There's more life, abundant life that he has for you. Only if you would trust him. For example, you might be in a career right now. But you know deep down in your spirit that God is telling you it's about time to step into your destiny. It's about time to pursue your purpose. Now is the time that you need to move. Because of your trust issues, you hold, you hold on so tightly to whatever it is, whatever career that you've decided to, to pursue for yourself right now. But God, when he allowed you to enter that space, it was to show you that he can open any door. But because we are so uh, focused on the flesh we start thinking those doors open up because of our own intelligence because of our own charisma because of our own personality we forget that there was a hand of god that opened up that, that that opened up opportunities that showed us favor where we didn't deserve favor i mean some of you might know that the position that you are in is actually should be actually illegal for you to be in but you did nothing illegal you god just showed you favor he just elevated you when you didn't even deserve that elevation he gave you a promotion and you are sitting in your office knowing that there is somebody more intelligent sitting uh, in that open uh, space right a person who now reports to you a person who's constantly showing you uh you know, opening your eyes to what you should be seeing in your department. A person that you so heavily rely on because that's actually the person technically who was supposed to be sitting in the position that you're sitting. But the hand of God came in. He opened up um, opportunities. He showed you favor. So we get so involved in the flesh that we forget that it was the hand of God. It was his favor. We start saying things like, you know, the universe um, opened up, the stars lined up in my favor. So, and the more we believe that it was the stars, the universe, everything that God created, it was Baba so and so that I went to visit before um, 
uh, before the interview, God so and so that I visited before the interview, everything that we created, we start believing in it. The flesh wants us to believe in it so much that we miss out on the amazing life that God has in store for us. So when he says move, it is time to move. You feel it in your spirit that the space that you are in, yes, it's good, but it's not what your spirit, what, what is filling your spirit. Your spirit still has a gap in it. Then you know that God is directing you to other things. Let go. Trust God. Know that as much as he opened doors for you to be where you are, he wants to show you a life that you will never, ever believe. A life that you can never experience for as, as long as you're holding on to what you have right now you know i heard god saying one time during my quiet time he said to me everything gets old so whatever that you are holding on to it might seem good right now but if God is telling you to move, know that thing is about to get old. Know that you're about to face some troubles wherever you are. Yes, things are going well right now, but you will soon feel like you're stagnant. You will soon feel like you're an old furniture in that company when you're not supposed to be feeling like that. We are supposed to be re I mean, re-energized. We are supposed to be reignited every day of our lives and we can only find that place of um, excitement and energy when we trust God. He knows the end from the beginning. Lastly, the reason why we have to trust God is that he can take better care of me and you that than we can ever take care of ourselves he is our creator and God wants the best for you more than you could ever want for yourself so when he says go this direction he then starts pulling towards you resources that you are going to need in order to be a success where in whichever direction that he sends you. When he says, turn that way, he starts pulling towards you the kind of people that you, you are going to need in the next level uh, that he's taking you. When he says forgive, it is because he understands that when you forgive, you release a whole lot of load that is currently on your shoulders that will not allow you to enjoy anything, any of the things that you are working so hard for right now. You've got a family, you can't enjoy it because you still have grudges with your aunties. You now have a family, but you still cannot enjoy it because now your extended family cannot come to your house. There are family feuds that are going on and nobody is willing to drop the weapons. Nobody is willing to raise the white flag. But God, when he tells you to raise the white flag, surrender and apologize, even when you are the one who has been hurt, it's not because he favors the other people who hurt you. It's because he knows what it will do in your soul. And when your soul is nourished, then you start enjoying every little thing that you see in life. You start enjoying the seasons as they change. When you see the leaves start getting brown and falling off, you start realizing that, oh my gosh, that is the hand of God. When spring comes and you start seeing those beautiful colors of flowers popping up all over the place, you start realizing and being present to those kind of moments. And life starts becoming you know, something that you've never seen before. When you trust God with your life, then you will experience peace like you've never experienced before. 
then you will experience joy like you've never experienced before then you'll start seeing what other people are seeing when they are, when they are looking at your life you know right now you don't see that it's just a blessing to have that stable relationship that you have people are struggling right now to have you know solid relationships with partners who respect them for who they are right right now you might not see that you know that loud noise in your home is a blessing from your children there are people like me who are sitting and hoping for for having that kind of noise one day in their homes when you trust god those are the kind of things that's the kind of world that you start stepping into that's the kind of destiny that you start stepping into you are not going to immediately get everything that you want all the money is in the world that you want but you'll start realizing that actually what you have is enough what you have is more than enough enough you didn't need more money you didn't need more 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 kids you didn't need more qualifications you just needed to fill up the soul and when we trust god that's what happens as much as you trust him for your friend's situation, I'll challenge you. It's about time that you trust him for your situation. I am Pulamons, your inner peace and purpose coach.